what's cracking YouTube. We back in this thing with another video, man. We about to pull the box out, clean it up. Probably gonna jump in traffic today, I don't know. Supposed to be letting Danny drive, but I don't know. I'm a little skeptical on that right now, but uh, I'm gonna pull it out and clean it up, man. I'm gonna give y'all the rundown on pretty much how I built my box Chevy. This is gonna be the blueprint on how I done mine, how I built my box Chevy, you know what I'm saying? You can do yours however you want to. You can spend what you want to spend on yours. I mean, it really ain't no limit when you're building the old school, honestly. Because you can put $100,000 in the box shed and you still can't drive that bitch around the corner. But it is all about what you buy and the right shops, really. It's going to come boil down to the shops if you ain't doing the work yourself, honestly. But I don't did a lot to mine, so I'm going to just give y'all the rundown on pretty much everything I done done to mine. So. First, let's start off with this automatic start out of Andy Tool. I put another frill filter on it. I think it was like day four yesterday, me and Spank did, but hopefully this one's doing better. Oh, wrong way. Hit the button for the lock on the trunk. Oh yeah, I added that too, to my remote. But let's crank it up and pull it out. Let's get this part to start. And the car dirty too, so I'm finna wash it here in a minute. But we're gonna go over everything that I replaced, but I'm gonna start out with the motor. Pretty much. No, I'm gonna start out with the car. It's an 85 Caprice. You know what I'm saying? It's not the uh, LS Broham. I ain't, Everybody got their own preference. That's not my. I didn't want that kind. I wanted this kind. This is the kind I always liked it. But you go for what you want and what you like. You know what I'm saying? Because you, at the end of the day, I built this car for me. Not for nobody on YouTube. Not for nobody on Instagram. This for me. I would have done this to this car whether I was making YouTube videos or not. Because I built that one right there the same way. But anyway, I got this car actually here in my neighborhood. From a uh, older white gym pulled up on. I've been seeing the car in the yard, bro. Literally, and this ain't my first box Chevy. I had a couple of, them. but I had been seeing the car in his yard, bro. No lie for shit, about four years. I just rolled up on it one day, asked him if he wanted to sell it. He was like, yeah. So couldn't get the car crunk, which I didn't care if it crunk or not because I knew the car was in good condition anyway by just looking at it. I see if I could find some pictures or something for the from the uh, what the interior and everything looked like when I first got the car. If not, just go back to the first video when I first picked up the car. But uh, car won't hurt. I got the car with originally like fourteen thousand miles on it. I think I still got the speedometer. They didn't really even drive the car. The car used to sit. So 
I don't know if it's 140, but they said it was like 14,000. But the paperwork that I got said that it was 14,000. I mean, I got all the little oil changes and stuff that they done to it and all that. But uh, got the car from him. I paid like 2,800 off my box shit, no cap. I paid like 2,800. The other prices that I was getting from other people, bro, they was five. 65, 55, I'm straight. So got the car for about 27, 2800. I knew I didn't want no, I ain't want the 305 in it because it didn't pull as hard as I wanted to. So, cause then I knew I was going 28s. I knew I wasn't going sixes. I had people trying to talk me into sixes, but I knew I was going eights. So I got this motor. I paid like, I think I got this for my homeboy named Pooch. I paid like 1300 for the motor. I got the motor rebuilt. Everything back in the inside of it new. That ran me like 2500 Then I went and bought everything new on the block other than the coil packs. The coil packs are still stock. I got this Holly Mid Mount Kit. The Holly Mid Mount Kit come with the crank puller, the water pump, power steering, alternator, and the uh, AC compressor. And it come with the belt. And it come with a thermostat too. So. I ordered that kit. That kit ran me about 2000 So, then after I did that, I got this uh this intake. I got it off of eBay. I think it ran me like 450 It came with the fuel wheels. So, I got that. And then when I first initially, originally put this motor in, I had my 700R behind it. Lord. The guy that put the engine in, he hooked it up and this the bracket from the 700R. Some kind of way he made this bracket work. And I drove it with that 700 r probably about four, five months. Then I changed that out because I went and got a 4L80 transmission. That's the transmission that came behind the motor. So I got a 4L80. I bought it for like $400 from somebody. Got it built, $800. My buddy in uh, Hattiesburg done it with a shift kit in it. And that engine got a stage two truck cam. And then I ordered a 4.9 inch rear end from Quick Performance. I got a 4.11 gear in it. And I ordered mine with the wheel wood disc brake kit on the back. And the lines and everything came, well, I got the lines and stuff from Quick Performance too. And I got QA1 coilovers on the back. I ordered them from Spawn Performance. Shout out to my dog Steezo, State of Steezo. Y'all check him out. He the one told me about the brakes and them coilovers. He told me about the uh, wheel wood brakes for the front side of Steezo. I got that off of Steezo channel. I'm going to tell y'all everybody channel that I got everything from. But I got the wheel wood brakes on the front too and the back. And I got the uh, slider and drill roller too in the front. So, and I got QA1 coilovers on the front too. I did that little research myself. I called uh, who that was. I think I got these from Summit. Yeah, I called Summit, asked them what kind that I needed to go on the front of my Caprice. And I got those from Summit. I ordered new brake lines and everything for the front. So I got new brake lines for the front and the back. And I think that's pretty much the suspension. Then I got these wheels. Those coilovers for the front was like 545. The coilovers for the back was like 580 the brakes for the front was like all together like 400 and something dollars those rotors like 150 200 dollars black man you come to help me finish this tell them about everything that i done to the box here i ordered a whole new front suspension too i think i ordered that from summit or either ebay I got a whole front new suspension in and out of tie rod in, center link, all that stuff. I've got a brand new drive shell. Uh, I ordered that. I got that from Stan Performance. Big, big drive shell. Uh, I think I got like, I got a new exhaust ran from the front to the back. Oh yeah, I got uh, the Holly manifolds. I think them Holly. Yeah, it's a highly rate. No, the hooker. The hooker manifold. 
that's what I'm running. I don't got headers. I got the hooker manifold. And that's pretty much all the suspension in the drive train, I think. If not, get in the comment section. Y'all let me know. And I'll answer what you got. I got these wheels from Signature Rides. I actually got the wheels before I painted the car. I got these wheels from Signature Rides. They ran me like, they like 7800. I think it was like 7800, something like that. That was with the steering wheel, floating caps, and the wheels. That back when they had a little sale going on. And uh, I got these pieces from a guy off of Instagram, Jason Brits, I think it was. Got this from him on Instagram, and those ran me like, I think like two, 250, something like that. I think I got those from him, and I got these pieces right here. And I got the chrome ones for them right there, but I just ain't put them on yet. And uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it as far as the suspension and stuff. I think I got new trim too. This new trim right here. I got that in the garage in the boxes. I just ain't put that on yet. Uh, AC heat, everything working my box. I'm a little low on free on though. I do know that. But uh, the interior. Well, now I'm gonna go to the paint. I'm gonna go to the paint. Uh, James Steed, he painted it. Same guy that painted my Challenger. He painted it, this blue for me. I found this blue. And this is the one that I wanted. It's not candy. It's a, uh, damn, I forgot the name of it, bro. I forgot what kind it is, but it's not candy. It's like a, it's like a metallic paint. But uh, I got to wash this song on too. He, he, he painted the car for me. He took everything apart. Y'all go back, check those videos out. He took everything apart. He took the doors off of it. He took all the trim off. All this trim right here, I got replaced. The window, these, the, uh, this is the window trim. I got all these new on all four doors, inside and out. I got that off of eBay. If you're looking that up, it's the window, window trim. And I replaced this too. This piece that go in the inside here, this the window channel trim. If you're looking that up, I got that off of eBay too. Y'all see it fit all back nice and neat like it's new. And my windows don't shake or nothing like that when you let them down. That trim actually makes a difference, bro. Let's see, look. When I close the door, you know how most box Chevy, your windows shaking and fobbling and falling over. None of that. I got new weather stripping all the way around off of all four doors. I got that from Summit. I ordered that. No, not Summit, Jigs. I ordered the weather strip, the weather stripping from uh Jigs. And uh I forgot how much that weather stripping. It was like hundred something dollars for the weather stripping. These little pieces right here was like uh hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars for it's they come in a set. You get the two front doors. For hundred dollars, and you get two back doors for a hundred dollars. So you'd be out of like two hundred dollars for that window stuff. And then this window channel trim, that's separate, that's different. This window channel trim, I think it's like sixty to a seventy some bucks. And uh I think that's it. I think as far as with that that I replaced. I knew I replaced all that. And I got this piece right here from Sprayway. This piece right here because I needed one because my other one was messed up. Sprayway helped me out with that. But uh that's that on that. And the interior, Terry did the interior for me from Gulf Coast Upholstery. He pretty much redone the seats, the headliner, the back deck. Well, no, he didn't do the back deck. Let me take that back. He didn't do the back deck. All the trim pieces, all that, the seats, carpet. Everything steering wheel, sprayway done my dashboard. Sprayway did the dashboard. The uh Terry did the bottom part of the dashboard. They pulled the bottom part of the dashboard out and well they actually pulled the whole dashboard out and painted that. And uh that price from Terry was like seventy five hundred, eight thousand for the interior. That's the whole interior. That's the everything. And with my door panels, these ain't the factory stuff they pretty much throw away the old dope panel and made me new ones they kept this or whatever 
but the little plastic piece well not plastic it's like cardboard or whatever they pretty much throw that away and made new door panels that's how come mine fit and knit and tuck you know what i'm saying all the way down like they supposed to because these are brand new door panels everything on the car pretty much done being replaced and oh yeah uh james hit me on the paint job it was like 75 8 000 for the paint the wheels were like 70 i think they were like 79 8 000 on that shit too uh got the double sunroof i got those done at tops unlimited in baton rouge they hit me for like 2200 they actually when they do the sunroofs they give you uh you get a new sunroof and a new headliner so they did do the sunroof and the headliner it was black at first before i got it done before i got the interior done or whatever but that's that on that what else we got black i don't know i'm trying to think oh they uh the, the trunk oh yeah <laughs> I just recently got this done. Uh, Ultimate Audio Fabrication, they did the trunk. They did all the sounds. They hooked up my amps. I got two SCAR amps, two 2,000 watt amps on these two SCAR 12. And uh, what's that is, the Mo amps. We got those for the highs, we got two of those. And they got the blue lights in the trunk. They did the uh, Ultimate Audio, they did the trunk, the back deck, and the console. And they done the console. And they uh put speakers in the top deck also. So got speakers in there too. And they put an alarm on it and automatic start. And they put the pop lock on the trunk for us with the button on the remote. So they put in uh I got a speaker up here. I think it's a four, four and a half or four something. I don't know what the hell it is, honestly. Got a speaker up there, got a six and a half. PRV in there. I got in the back deck. I got two six and a halves and a super tweeter on each side. Two six and a halves and a super tweeter on each side. Then I got the two twelve, two scar twelves, and that hit for. It was all hit for the hit for that time. Man, you might well gonna do it. You might well gonna do. It. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I got two batteries. I got two. What kind of batteries do me is? Uh, two excess power batteries in the trunk. Them batteries were high. Let me pop that damn trunk back. You ain't lying. I forgot about them batteries. <sighs> them batteries hit me for about huh? 700, 700, 800. Almost 400 piece. Yeah, it was like 800 some dollars for both of them batteries. I don't know if y'all can see them off it now. Let's see. It's two of them. Two XS power batteries in there. So that's. And then they hit me too. They hit me with the oh, whoa, whoa. Yo. All this stuff was the trunk, the, uh, the back deck, the whole custom trunk, the alarm, the console, the uh, automatic start, the pop lock on the trunk, wrapping everything. That was 5,500. Yeah, that was 5,500 for that. So, I'm in on this car pretty steep. 55 for the trunk, like eight for the interior, eight for the rims, eight for the paint, 22 for the sunroof. By the time you did that motor and built it and all that, about 552 transmission. We ran me one of about 1200, about, about 12, 1300 on that. That ring was 3000 or something. I think it was. It really was 3000 or something. Then all that other shit. Man, look. Building the old school and you're doing it the right way. You can, you can be a lot cheaper than that. But this is the way I wanted to build mine. I wanted to build mine where I could jump in it and ride and go where I want to go. Do what I want to do. See, like just like last weekend. I was out riding in this car all weekend. Bumping. But I just wanted to do a little rundown video on everything that I've done to the car. And how I built the box shed. Pretty much showing everybody how I built mine. And I still ain't finished with it. I still got to chain the 2 cents on this driver's side. I got to put some old Freon in it. I got to put the new trim on it. I got to put my new...
chrome pieces right here on it. But still, these right here, see, look, I got all four of these right here. I still got to put these on. The Sandman design chrome pieces, I still got to put that on. Uh, what up? I think that's it, y'all. Get in the comment section, man, if y'all got any more questions on how I built my box shelf. That's the blueprint on how I built this this bad box shelf that we call Ocean Root, man. Sprayway came up with the name, but he dropped it in the comment section, and we've been saying it ever since. I think it's better when somebody else come up with the name of that thing for you. I appreciate that, Sprayway. But uh, get in the comment section, man. Tell me what y'all think about the box shelf, how I built it, how I done it. I forgot how much Lord charged me to put it in, bro. That was a couple thousand, two on the putting that molding stuff in, then going back, putting that transmission in, the rear end in, the coilovers, the front suspension. See, I don't forgot how much you charge for all that because y'all understand, I paid to get most of that stuff put on too. And a lot of it I did, like the front brakes and all that stuff, I put that on, but weather stripping, I put that on and sound in I, I forgot about that too i put sound in throughout the whole inside on the floor you got sound in through there uh got sound in all in the trunk that sound didn't ran me about 150 some dollars for all that to do all that too uh it's still just little knickknack stuff man what you realize bro when you're messing with an old car it ain't never finished it ain't never finished it's always something you could do to it just like right now i ain't even gonna lie to y'all i'm thinking about supercharging I'm thinking about putting a supercharger on. I ain't even gonna lie to you. If I do, it ain't gonna be right now. It'll be later on down the line next year sometime because I want to enjoy this, you know what I'm saying, car for real. Because I, I know I'm bringing it to the Florida classes. So if y'all gonna be at the Florida class, y'all jump in traffic with me. Let's swear we're gonna make a thousand videos. So, but I just want to drop this video, man, to let y'all know the blueprint on how I built my box seven. A lot of y'all might save more money than I did. See, I forgot about this too. This radiator. I think this radio radiator was two hundred some dollars. This the rally radiator, and then the the rally fan uh, relays. That was high. I forgot how much that relay was. That was a couple hundred probably. I know this radiator was like two hundred something. Those hooker manifolds. They was like four fifty. So. I mean, the more I just sit out here and look at it, the more and more money I just keep adding up. Them headlights, they got them off of eBay. That wasn't number like 400 and something. Transmission cool. Now I'm seeing it. That was 100 and something. So I just wanted, like I said, break it down to y'all, man. Let y'all know how I built my box Chevy. So y'all get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Run that. Dang, some jump. What? What? Some bite me. But, uh,. Like I said, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. Get in the comment section. This is how I built my box Chevy. This is the blueprint on how I bought my 1985 box Chevy to the 20th century with a LS motor, new drivetrain, new interior, new paint, new suspension. Uh, everything pretty much new on it, you know what I'm saying? I, I just got to drive it now. Got it tuned pretty nicely. I mean, it ain't no stupid, wicked tune, you know what I'm saying? Just to act bad. I just like to cruise. I'm just cruising like sitting there, Chevy boy. You just kept me in traffic cruising. I ain't trying to act no fool. Now, you catch me in that Challenger now. Now, you catch me in that right now. You catch me in that right there. I might be getting sideways. I ain't going to lie. I be acting the fool in the Challenger. I ain't even got started on the scat. I might put some folds or something on the scat. If not, I'll sell it. Cause I don't even drive it. They sit over there and collect dust on a head for a year and he got on the 5,000 miles on it. So I'm going to get back with y'all on the next video. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, and y'all tune in. And I'm a holler